Chapter 20. Kathy. Kathy doesn't like you. She doesn't know you, but she still doesn't like you. She doesn't think you are smart. In fact, she thinks you are the least smart person she doesn't know. What do you think of that? She also thinks you're ugly. As a matter of fact, she thinks you are the ugliest person she doesn't know. And she doesn't know a lot of people. She doesn't like the people she knows either. She doesn't like anybody in Mrs. Jewell's class. She did like one member of the class. She liked Sammy. She thought he was funny. Sammy was a dead rat. But Kathy has good reasons for not liking any of the children she knows. She doesn't like DJ because he smiles too much, and she doesn't like John because he can't stand on his head. Kathy once had a cat named Skunks. She liked Skunks, but she was afraid that Skunks would run away. You have nothing to worry about, Kathy, said Mrs. Jules. Skunks won't run away. Just be nice to him and feed him and pet him, and he won't run away. He may go out and play, but he'll always come back. No, you're wrong, Mrs. Jules, said Kathy. What do you know? He'll run away. So Kathy kept skunks locked up in her closet at home. She never let him out and sometimes even forgot to feed him. One day, while Kathy was looking for her other shoe, skunks ran out of the closet and never came back. You said he would come back, Mrs. Jules, said Kathy. He never came back. You were wrong. I was right. That was why Kathy didn't like Mrs. Jules. Then there was that time that Damien tried to teach Kathy how to play catch. Damien said, When I throw you the ball, Kathy, try to catch it. I can't catch it, said Kathy. I'll just get hurt. You won't get hurt, Damien insisted. Just watch the ball. He tossed it to her. But Kathy knew she'd get hurt, so she closed her eyes. The ball hit her on the cheek. It hurt. Kathy began to cry. You were wrong, she sobbed. I was right. That was why Kathy didn't like Damien. Allison believed that if you were nice to someone, then they'd be nice to you. So one day, she brought Kathy a cookie. I don't want your cookie, said Kathy. It probably tastes terrible, Allison said. No, it is very good. I made it myself. Kathy said, If you made it, then it must be terrible. You can't cook. She just put the cookie in her desk along with her pencils, crayons, and books. Three weeks later, Kathy was hungry. All right, Allison, she said. I'll try your cookie. She took it out of her desk. It was covered with dust. She bit it. It was hard and tasted terrible. See, said Kathy, I was right. That was why Kathy didn't like Allison. Yes, Kathy had very good reasons for not liking anybody she knew. But she also has a good reason for not liking you. And she doesn't even know you. Her reason is this. She knows that if you ever met her, you wouldn't like her. You don't like Kathy, do you? See, she was right. It's funny how a person can be right all the time and still be wrong. Chapter 21 Ron. Ron had curly hair and little feet. I want to play kickball, he said. You can't play, said Terrence. Get out of here, said Dee Dee. Scram, said Jason. I want to play kickball, said Ron. Well, you're not playing, said Terrence. Beat it. Ron stomped across the playground to the hopscotch area. Jenny was playing hopscotch with Lewis. Jenny was on nine. Lewis was still on four, but it was his turn. I want to play kickball, Ron said. So, go play kickball, said Lewis. Terrence won't let me play, said Ron. Lewis walked with Ron to the kickball field. Hey, what about our hopscotch game, Jenny asked. You won, said Lewis. I just beat Lewis in hopscotch, Jenny announced. Lastly, Rondi and Allison flocked around her. Hey, Lewis, Damien shouted. Do you want to play kickball? All right, said Lewis. Ron and I will both play. No, said Terrence. Ron isn't playing. Anyone who wants to play can play, said Lewis. No, he can't, said Terrence. It's my ball. It isn't your ball, said Lewis. You gave it to me, said Terrence. I gave it to you to share, said Lewis. If you can't share it, you can't have it. Oh, all right, said Terrence, but I get to pitch. 
Ron and I against everybody, Lewis announced. All right, said Jason. Ron pitched and Lewis played the other eight positions. Twenty minutes later, they got three outs. The score was 21 to nothing. Ron was up first. Infield in, shouted Damien. Everybody stood within ten feet of home plate. All right, Ron, Lewis shouted. Kick it over their heads. Ron kicked the ball only three and a half feet. Todd picked it up and threw him out. Lewis was up. Everybody ran back to the edge of the outfield. Still, Lewis kicked the ball over their heads for a home run. Everybody ran all the way back in for Ron's up. He kicked the ball only two feet. Dee Dee tagged him out. Lewis kicked another home run. Ron then kicked the ball a foot and tripped over it on his way to first base. Three outs. Ron and Lewis held the other team to only five runs the next inning. That was because the bell rang. Lunch was finally over. Lewis and Ron had lost 26 to 2. Ron had had a wonderful time. The next day, Ron said, I want to play kickball. You can't play, said Terrence. Get out of here, said Jason. Scram, said Dee Dee. I want to play kickball, Ron told Lewis. Lewis walked with him to the kickball field. Ron and I against all of you. Everybody liked the teams. Ron pitched while Lewis played the other eight positions. They lost 57 to 2. After the game, Lewis took Ron aside. Listen, Ron, he said, why do you always want to play kickball? You can't kick, you can't field, you can't even run to first base. You just get smashed every game. Hey, now wait a second, said Ron. Don't go blaming it all on me. You're half the team, you know. And with that, he punched Lewis in the stomach. And he punched a whole lot harder than he kicked.